So here we have uh, laid down the shark fin wrap uh, in gloss black. The whole roof is going to be uh, gloss black. But I put this on first because the uh, the antenna is stuck on with sealant, so I don't want to uh, remove it and wait two, three days for the sealant to cure. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to react on top of the wrap anyway. So normally we take it off and wrap underneath and put it back on. But that's with the uh, cars with removable aerials from underneath, okay? Uh, which normally have like a gasket seal around. But this one is sealed on. So basically I've done it in situ, as you can see, it looks nice and uh, uniform. And this is the best way to do it on the car itself. You take it off, it's a pain to do in your hands. So it's looking good. So I just need to trim it. And I'm going to lay the vinyl on top of this car with a hole already cut smaller than the uh, size of the aerial so it will slide in but not tear and you cut that with the backing paper on the vinyl so you get a nice neat square and it doesn't uh, tear down the wrap when you put it on so without further ado let's get on with laying the well trimming it and then laying with the, with the vinyl and don't forget to post heat this uh, I've heated it really well afterwards so nothing shrinks uh, it just hooks nicely onto the aerial okay for further videos please subscribe to CB wraps and uh, you'll see further updates see you soon so there we have it all trimmed and uh, as you can see really nice neat job um, looks like it was painted in the first place so I'm happy with that now to uh, move on to wrapping the, the roof Okay, so I just taped up the sunroof because when I cut the vinyl, I want to just cut on this tape all the way around here so I don't scratch the uh, glass or I don't uh, tear the seal around the sunroof. So I go a quarter of an inch in from the edge and that give me enough excess vinyl to tuck into the recess and give us a nice neat finish. Uh, use the tucking in tool to do that and it'll look like factory so there we have it all trimmed and uh, as you can see really nice neat job um, looks like it was painted in the first place so I'm happy with that now to uh, move on to wrapping the, the roof so I've marked out a piece uh, to cut out of the vinyl to slip over the top of the aerial as you can see um, Let's hope it works. Uh, can't see why not, but uh, you never know. Let's uh, give it a go, see what happens. Okay, it seemed to work quite nicely. So we've got the uh, wrap over the top of the aerial. And as you can see, I just need to push it in at the end and trim it. It should be good. So I've basically glassed out the vinyl on the roof. So it's as flat as possible before I even start squeegeeing and it all should look good in the end. So let's start squeegeeing. So there you go, it squeegees it all down and uh, use a lubricant so it doesn't scratch the uh, black gloss. If it does, it doesn't matter too much because you just use the heat and it will uh, heal itself uh, pretty good. So now it's time for trimming, worked out pretty good. Well, there we have it. One uh, gloss black roof all tucked in nicely with the seals no uh, nothing poking through which is all good all around the uh, sunroof looking amazing and then onto the antenna all spot on very good just needs a clean and we'll be good